We've seen in the news that small hobby drones are being weaponized and used as airborne IEDs and companies are now looking at technologies to counter this threat. I'm here with Evan Hunt, Business Development Lead for High Energy Lasers at Raytheon, who's going to talk to us a little bit about the technology that we see behind us. Yes, so this is the High Energy Laser Weapon System. Uh, what you see behind us is deployed currently on a uh, M Razor, Polaris M Razor, which is a small tactical vehicle, but it's designed as a modular and scalable system that can be modified and put on a number of different vehicles. It's specifically designed for small drones flying slow. They're, uh, they're built by companies, like you said, around the world, um, very easy to operate and, and weaponize, and therefore we need cost-effective solutions to, to deal with them. And it's not just the, the effectivity, it's also the detection, the identification, the tracking, that's involved before you choose to affect. So who would be interested in this kind of technology? What, what customers are looking at this? Well, the, the drone threat is, is so new and so ubiquitous that uh, every, every military agency um, that we engage with is interested. I think uh, our customers are still defining who owns the counter UAS mission set and uh, who owns what classes of drones with regard to acquisition and funding. Everybody is interested because they all have a requirement to protect assets, protect convoys, forward operating bases, uh, critical infrastructure, and uh, airfields. And obviously, as you said, we see it here on the M Razor, but what has Raytheon done with other platforms on the high energy laser? Yes, so we're supporting a uh, cooperative research and development agreement with uh, US SOCOM Rotary and uh, Apache Sensors. So you might have seen a press release last year where we repackaged the same pieces and parts and put them on an airborne pod demonstrator. Uh, we leverage a very mature multi-spectral targeting system as the beam director for the laser. And th therefore, we, we literally took the beam director off of the pod and then put it on the razor for the follow-up ground-based demo just to show the modularity and, and, and the ability to change the system for the mission, for the platform. We're also, uh, there was another press release just last week. Uh, we're in the design phase of a very high power high energy laser weapon system for the US Army called High Energy Laser Tactical Vehicle Demonstrator, essentially putting this laser on a truck for far more than just the counter drone mission. Brilliant, well thank you for that explanation Evan and um, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you so much.